Hey, it's Cam with the Atlas Strength Shop back with another video. Uh, format's a little bit different on this one just because, honestly, I'm running behind. I'm really busy here today. Uh, it's the last video of the month of March. That means it's time for the Atlas Training Log recap. We had a lot of people train for competitions all over the place in the past month. So you're going to see a lot of cool lifts, a lot of PRs. But before we get to that, please like this video and subscribe to the channel. It really does help us out a lot. Let's get to it. So first up, we have Jessica. This was her first time ever squatting 100 pounds. I know to a lot of people watching this, that may not seem like a significant amount, but considering we couldn't, we couldn't squat a kettlebell without falling over just a few months ago, this was a huge milestone for Jessica. And not only did she hit it once, but she managed to get a full set. If I remember right, she wound up with 10 reps here. Let's see, it's three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, and she got nine reps out of this. There you go, get it, get it, get it. And this is Rebecca. She decided she was going to try to pick up this rock. It's her first time, picked it up like it was nothing, and she later went on to sign up as lightweight novice in Louisiana, strongest man slash woman. This is Matt carrying the Hootsfell Stone. He thought he was going to be using this in his comp last weekend. That turned out not to be the case, which is a shame because he was getting some good time in the stone. This is CJ. He signed up for Louisiana Strongest Man. That is way heavier than he's going to be carrying in comp. The dude's an animal. And speaking of animals, we got Andrew Perkins hitting a quick three stone st uh, stone series. He is competing as a middleweight open in Louisiana Strongest Man in just a few days. Next up, we have Allison. This was a big PR for her on her deadlift. Me and Allison are coming up on close to a year of working together. And it took a lot of work for us to get to this point. And here is Natalie. She just joined the gym uh, almost a month ago now. She came and she photographed for the powerlifting meet we had back in February. And now she just drops in all the time. Here's Colt pulling 800 on the Mammoth Deadlift Bar. It's his first time pulling over 800 pounds in quite a while. He just kind of wanted to see if he still had it. All of that baby powder. And he goes for a second rep. Then finally a third rep. Gets it locked out, gets the down command. This is Emily. She is one of our newer members. She came to a strongman Saturday. And here she is putting a log overhead for the first time. We worked on log, sandbag, and then we did some sandbag throwing outside that day. She did very well. She has almost a 250-pound deadlift right now. We didn't do a meat cap for Daryl's pow uh, first powerlifting meet, but here it is. This was his squat. Forgive me, I don't know the weights off the top of my head. But what I do know is he entered six different weight classes. He entered both novice and open. And in in I think he did push-pull, full power, and bench only. And he wound up with six first-place trophies as a result. So for his first meet, I'd say that was a very, very successful meet. Here we have Natalie again giving Strongman a shot. She wanted to try some Atlas stones. This is with a 110-pound Atlas stone. And it comes up like nothing. Well, she remembered to come over the top instead of underneath. Super easy. And she decided she wanted to try the 160-pound stone. Comes off the ground, gets into the lap. And she comes so close, she just wasn't quite sure what to do when she got it that far. But she did fantastic. 
who've seen this video in our Kabuki Bar deadlift review, our Kabuki deadlift bar review. Botsy pulling 600 pounds on it, and it went great. Here is Elena. I don't remember what this weight was off the top of my head. Elena is also competing in her first strongman competition in just four days. And she is going to do fantastic. Next up, we have Natalie. This is right around 185, 190 pounds. And she killed this set. There's kind of a um, a trend with Natalie. She always says, wow, that went horribly, right after just killing a set. The woman is way stronger than she thinks she is. Next, we have Colt showing us how to do the Viking press. This is going to be the pressing event for Louisiana's Strongest Man in just a few days. And I cannot wait for this event to be over because I am tired of setting this up every day. It is a huge pain. I'm not even going to lie. Next, we have one of my uh, one of my clients. I do personalized programming for Christopher. Do an AMRAP set of squats. Chris has come a far away in a short period of time. Couldn't be more proud of him. I think he's got one or two more in him. Thought the video paused for a second. Here is Katie with her stone for Louisiana Strongest. We peer pressured in just going full send with it. She goes 150 feet with this stone here. This is exactly how the event's going to go on the first. You walk 50 feet, you turn, you walk 50 feet, you turn, you walk 50 feet, you turn, and it is max distance. You grow until you drop it or you die, one or the other. almost there and then she just kind of dies on the floor and here is Elena hitting comp weight for the Viking press for the first time it's one rep and second rep and here is Jessica this is the first time she ever deadlifted more than her own body weight. So she was very, very proud of this moment. Jessica is another one that has come a very long way in a short period of time. And she is going to be competing in Louisiana Strongest. Hopefully all these women stick with it and we can see them in the open class in our fall competition or next year. That would be fantastic. Got a couple more reps in her. She refocuses her mind. Then gives it one good pull. Locking in the lats. Fantastic job from Jessica. Later on that day, we had Strongman Saturday. Here's Pam pulling a truck for the first time. 
Katie Manning the Rope. And Pam did fantastic. Next we've got Nelson. I almost didn't catch Nelson. I didn't make it outside in time. I do one-on-one -on -one stuff with Nelson, and he decided to come out for a straw man Saturday. Had a hell of a time. Here is Katie pulling that same truck, and Mr. Preston's behind the wheel. He rode the brake the entire time. Wanted to make it tough for Katie. And this is a 200-pound sandbag. This is actually more than Nelson weighs. It's his first time doing any kind of strongman stuff. He seemed to have a good time, though, so hopefully he comes back. Sloan had a much easier time because he's been training for a good while. And he is a very large man. So we got some yoke walking. This was 350 pounds. We were just walking down 30 feet, turning and coming back. And then next up, we've got Nelson. Nelson only weighs 180 pounds. So the fact that his first time he was able to get to 350 on yoke walk, commendable. Fantastic job, Nelson. Here he picks it again. And brings it back. Next up we have Brandon. This was, I believe, 585 on squat. He is also going to be competing in Louisiana Strongest. And finally we have Dylan running through his stone series for Louisiana Strongest. It's just three stones over the bar four times, and he did fantastic. So that's it for the video. Like I said, if you like it, please like it and subscribe to the channel. It does really help us out a lot. If you're in the Baton Rouge area and like to join this community, hit me up on Instagram. It's the best way to get in touch with me. If you're not in the Baton Rouge area and you'd still like to support us, the best way you can do that is head to the website. We've got programming options and apparel options there. Designing all the apparel myself, I think it's cool. Hopefully you do too. Keep an eye on Iron Podium for our next competition. I know we have one this weekend, so it's a little late in the game time for that one, but our fall comp will be dropping on there soon. So, till next time, keep that tightened.